Hey guys, Mr. Patrick here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good Sunday and that you had a good first week or uh, subsequent week back at school, or if you haven't gone back yet, that you have a good one coming up. Um, back in my basement, you can see a little bit more of the unfinished part now. Oh, I've got an old air conditioner and some vents, but whatever. It's still a, still a good place to have a lesson, I think. So last week, we talked about Jesus' death and resurrection a little bit. And we're going to pick up pretty much right after that. Because after Jesus rose from the dead, he stayed here on earth for about 40 days. And during that time, he ate with the disciples. They felt the scars in his hand. Um, and they talked a lot. And before Jesus ascended, um, he told his disciples to stay in Jerusalem for a couple days after he left. Because he was going to send someone uh, to be with them, to comfort them. And so the disciples stayed. They listened after he ascended up into heaven and the, and the clouds took him uh, and he, he was past him and they couldn't see him anymore. Um, they stayed in Jerusalem and they were getting ready to celebrate uh, the Feast of Pentecost. And during Pentecost, a lot of people were going to show up in Jerusalem and people from all over the world were going to show up uh, and celebrate uh, this time. And they were celebrating it, they were sitting down, and then suddenly they heard a whoosh sound, kind of like the air conditioner that just turned on. Probably different and a lot louder, but it was interesting timing. So they heard this sound, and they saw what looked like tongues of fire coming down and sitting on their heads. And all of a sudden they were all speaking languages that they had never spoken before. It'd be like if all of a sudden I started speaking um, in Chinese. I don't know a single word in Chinese, and if I just started saying this entire lesson in Chinese. It'd be like that. And one of the disciples, Peter, who up till this point had denied Jesus uh, three times uh, and was kind of one of the sh more shy of the disciples, he got up in front of all the people that were there and explained what was going on. He said who Jesus was, that he had died, that he had risen from the grave, and that he was the Messiah and the person that they'd been waiting for all this time. And he told them how they were witnesses he and the disciples were witnesses to these amazing things and some people were like is he drunk and people were like no no this is clearly the power of the holy spirit the person the thing that jesus told us about that he was going to send to us and a lot of people got saved that day uh, and the holy spirit is really important to us today it didn't go anywhere the same thing that gave peter the ability to speak to all those people in front of everyone despite everything that had happened the questions he must have had the power that god sent that gave him the ability to do that is here with us too it's still here today um, it's what guides people to do miraculous healings which still happen it's what guides people to pray for others it's what's responsible for us hearing from God. And without it, um, it's difficult to do things for the right reason. So I just want to encourage you guys to listen for the Holy Spirit this week. Um, whether you're going to school in person, whether you're still at home, take some time out of your day. Take some time right now and pray, and I'm going to pray for you before I get off and pray that you will be better able to hear what the Holy Spirit is guiding you to do. And I don't know what that is. I have, I have zero idea, but I have faith that the Holy Spirit uh, can and has in the past talked to you and that he's going to, it's going to do it again, that it's going to reveal something to you important. And Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you for the kids. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to us uh, as a direct line to you, God. I pray that you will send the Holy Spirit to each and every one of us this week and guide us in what you want us to do and accomplish uh, as we go out to do your will, God. In your name we pray. I really do hope you have an excellent week, guys. I'm going to try and keep it short because I know with school starting, you're probably tired um, of videos all day, every day. Um, so I hope you have a good week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.